Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalama Lawson. Each day, hundreds of desperate job seekers are heading to the labor office in Bulawayo in search of employment. Felu Mklanga has the following report. Unemployment in Bulawayo has risen sharply following the closure of companies in the last decade due to poor economic performance leaving thousands jobless. ATV recently visited the labor office and spoke to some desperate job seekers. We are just coming here to try our luck. Uh, we spend almost uh, the whole month in our and the recruitment percentage is about 5%. So now it may be for the whole month, it was used to go to our three. We are best to go to the Kutugarne wana muta wana muno uri roja kutish nuneza. Tosho pezi wana wamu striti mwa shibonda. Awa tupega yo. Sichona zifole li msebezi. Msebezi ama kamba na ayabu ya azo tataba antu. Nga abandu me tataba utaba hamba batiba wama interview. Abandu wako na batila ngalebe tola soko na bandu asabe asabe msebe sezi kona ngali. Mepinde mependu o mama o mama zina silo suko lukulu kakulu. Katasu kwa kotoola. Ebla wayo kancela. Edward Manning called for the urgent resuscitation of industries to keep unemployment. Uh, Zimbabwe is sitting on a time bomb. If uh, government and uh, local authorities, commerce and industry don't come together and think somehow to sort out this problem, we'll have it uh, a big problem. Over 20,000 retrenched people in the city are seeking employment. According to the government, 87 companies in Blawai shut down due to viability challenges rendering 20,000 people jobless. Government allocated $40 million to resuscitate ailing Blawai firms, although critics say it's inadequate. A number of initiatives have been proposed to revive the industries, but it remains to be seen how these industries will create more jobs. Reporting for ATV, Blawai, Zimbabwe. An event hosting children with disabilities was held at the National Gallery of Zimbabwe last week to commemorate the Day of the African Child. Jairo Sanyama reports. The National Gallery of Zimbabwe last week hosted an art exhibition in Harare to commemorate the Day of the African Child. Children with physical disabilities drawn from different schools in the capital attended the exhibition. The gallery officials told ATV that the exhibition was meant to educate the children about their rights. Um, this year the theme focuses on the disabled child. We are proud to celebrate this through dance, through creativity, which is what we are best um, known for, the visual arts. We have um, students, our artists in residence at the National Gallery that are drawing and painting and expressing what it means to them to be an African child. As, as an art gallery, it is good that we are bringing them to, to, to the show that they also get to understand the things about art and to give them at least something, you know, to, to have a taste and a feel of what art is. Upcoming visual artists were also given an opportunity to showcase their talents during the event. I can really, you know, express something by this year, International of African Child, because um, my expressions are, you know, express through my drawings. Uh, it will be relating to the event and uh, also, you know, motivator and um, their voice must be heard as disabled children. And Reporting for ATV in Harare, Zimbabwe. The Warriors supporters are in high spirits after their team's victory at the weekend. Jeffrey Moyo spoke to some of them about the winning performance. Warriors supporters were last Sunday ecstatic about their team's victory against Burundi in the second round of the 2013 Africa Cup of Nations qualifying match held in Harare. Zimbabwe booked a place in the last qualifying stage with a slender 1-0 win over Burundi. Some supporters complained that the team's victory had taken too long to come. As a celebrator, after a long, long time, so they want to go bore my warriors. It's been a long time since we have won, so I'm expressing my joy that uh, this time we have won and progressed to the next stage. However, 
Others attacked the national team for performing dismally in the recent 2014 World Cup qualifying match against Guinea. They demanded for the head of one of the players, Oscar Machapa. Machapa, they are not missing the chance to win. Because of the number of players, the Faraja is not going to get it. As the Kumira man, Raman Gumbon, the Gadir is not Oscar Machapa. Not glorious goal. Some fans urged the country's football governing body, Zifa, to put its house in order. Zifa, which has been facing serious financial problems, has also been rocked by a match-fixing scandal. Zifa guys is in in order, but it will support us can arrive in the Zaita Mauri as Zaita Fazda and Gazi Rambi Zagaita Zaita Zagataro. Reporting for ATV, I'm Jeffrey Moyo, Harare, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back in an hour with more ATV news. Thank you.